everyone. Welcome to another exciting edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. I am delighted on this episode to be talking with author, creator, Jay Ferber. Jay, thank you for jumping in and joining and talking with me for a few minutes. Hey, thanks for asking. Glad to be here. My pleasure. My pleasure. I am going to mention a couple of your comics works here at the outset, and you actually have some right over there. New Warriors, <laughs> yes, uh, Copperhead. Yeah, that's this super yep. helpful. Um, <laughs> lots of titles in the Wildstorm world, as well as Noble Causes, The Titans, uh, Generation X. So you, you have created quite widely. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I, I get around Yes, yeah, that that is good. That is good. How did you know that comics would be the space for you? That this was the space that you wanted to create in? Uh, I just I love visual storytelling. I guess I, I grew up on comics, and I just never grew out of them. And uh, in co in high school, even even before that, I would write and draw my own comics. I've still got piles of them uh, from that time. And realized I, I went to art school. Uh, for a semester and realized I didn't really have the uh, the discipline or the drive to, to really hone my skills. Uh, and I realized what drew me to sequential storytelling was, was the writing, was the storytelling part. And so I realized I was only drawing comics because I didn't have anyone else to. Uh, so then I switched my focus to just actual writing uh, and have been much happier for it. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Finding those tools that work. And uh, you have also created across media, um, noticing Zoo up there. I know that you've worked yeah. in the world of television as well. What's it like to kind of work across forms that way? It's, it's nice. It's, it's a variety, uh, you know, so it's, it's, there are commonalities between comics and, and film and TV, but also huge differences. Uh, you know, what I like about comics is the immediacy that, you know, we can create a book and have it on the stands in a month or two. Um, and it's also more immediate or, or smaller. It's, it's me and, and, you know, three other collaborators, basically, uh, in comics, whereas in television or film, it's me and hundreds of collaborators in, in terms of the number of people it takes to bring it to life. Uh, but I do like, you know, what they have in common is describing action and, and, you know, writing in a visual medium where it's not all just words. Uh, so I, I enjoyed that as well. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to mix it up and do both. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there a particular kind of story or aspect of a story that you're drawn to as a writer? Uh, I more and more, I, I found myself drawn. I love themes of redemption of, of characters trying to be better. I also love, any kind of family dynamics, whether it's parental child or found family. Uh, I think, I don't know that he coined this phrase, but I first heard it from Mark Wade, where he said that uh, you don't find your theme, your theme finds you. And I found that to be true, that I, I don't usually set off, to set out to write about a particular theme, but I see this theme come up over and over in the stories I tell. Uh, so it, it's more, it just comes from, somewhere deep inside and those are the kinds of things I'm drawn to but it's never that deliberate of I'm going to tell a family story this week yeah yeah that, that makes sense as you look back across your career and as you consider comics um, any particular collaborations and experiences that have been some of the most positive so far yeah boy it's tough because I don't want to leave anybody out but I, yeah. I've been lucky that, that so many of my collaborations have been really fruitful um, you know, I clicked really well with Jamal Igel when he drew uh, a handful of New Warriors issues that I was writing. And then, you know, we did a Wolverine Iron Fist miniseries and then we created a book at Image. And uh, yeah, we just had similar uh, frames of reference and, and, you know, we're about the same age and, and had the same pop culture references. And, uh, so that was a real easy collaboration. Uh, a lot of the folks I, uh, the, the guy I worked with named uh, Simone Gugliomini on Near Death at Image uh, were also two big crime nerds in terms of crime novels, crime films, crime television shows. And so when we created this crime book together, we were right on the same page. Uh, Scott Godlewski, uh with Copperhead, we were really in sync and, and he did a lot of, of world building and, and stuff on that book. It was a 
I worked much looser and, and didn't really do a full script. I would let him break out the action a lot more and, and sort of pace it. Uh, so that was really fruitful as well. Yeah, yeah, and I, I love that New Warriors was one of the first things out of your uh, <laughs> mouth on that question because th there's a lot about that series that I love and those characters. I, I don't feel like they get enough attention. So yeah, no, they're they're a great team, and and I I wish that our run uh, would have been uh, longer. <laughs> it, yeah. uh, you know, ten issues was not nearly enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I only have one more official question, and we can, of course, hit anything that we've missed that you want to make sure to tag in as well. Sure. Uh, and that is, I always like to ask about the past, but also the current um, scenario of what you're creating in the future. So anything that has your focus at the moment as yeah, well. As... I'm, oh, go ahead, I'm juggling right now. I'm focusing mainly in television. Uh, that's I consider that sort of my day job and comics is is a little more of a hobby. Um so I'm right now, you know, we, uh, last year we had a writer's strike and so uh, then we had the holidays and, and things are just starting to open back up again. So I'm out pitching a, a handful of shows to different studios and broadcasters. Uh, so that's taken up most of my time, but I also have one graphic novel that I'm working on for Image Comics that will be out probably early next year, I would guess at this point. Um, we still have a ways to go. But that's what I like about the graphic novel format is that, you know, we'll put it out when it's done there. You know, there's no reason to set a, a date uh, and then miss it. Um, so we're just, you know, taking all the time we need. Um, but it's fun. It's going to be a, a sort of supernatural mystery uh, story with a, a sort of romance angle to it as well. Nice, nice. And um, looking forward to that. And where can folks go if they want to follow along and see updates and news? Uh, I'm pretty active on Twitter or X, I guess we're supposed to call it now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also I'm on Instagram. I'm on Blue Sky and Threads a little as well. But I'm still most active on Twitter. It's uh, not an addiction at all. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Um, well, I promised you a brief talk and, and you are on point. So, uh, <laughs> well, I'm happy to expand on anything. I, I don't mean <laughs> to be uh, too curt. <laughs> no, no, you are fine. You are fine. Uh, anything that we missed that you want to make sure to share for listeners? Ah, uh, boy. Oh, you know, one thing, if, if you are a fan of my comics, I have a book uh, that you can buy digitally. Uh, it's in PDF format or CBZ format uh, through Panel Syndicate. It's Brian Vaughn and Marcos Martin's digital publisher. Uh, and I have a book called Glacier City that I'm doing over there that's an Alaskan crime story. Uh, we have two issues done so far. The third one we're still working on. But it's a cool format. You pay whatever you want, even if it's zero. Um, and you download this PDF and you can read it on your computer or one of your devices. Uh, and and it's, when the book, it's going to be three chapters total. Uh, so when the, the story is actually complete, we'll try to find, you know, try to do a, a, a print edition as well. Uh, but right now, if you're curious, you can read it and pay whatever you want at panelsyndicate.com. All right. All right. Well, well, Jay, thank you so much for the time. I know you have yeah. other commitments this evening, and I appreciate uh, having a, a conversation and getting to share about your work. Sure. Yeah, it's been fun. All right. Thanks so much.